Ordnung. Sie ist mit der Dockline des Gottes Sumia so Saluka This is working? Yes. Scalars are possible, but 
there are limits, direct, uh, experimental limits on the vector line fermions are relatively uh, tighter, so when those are slightly, I mean, somewhat heavier, so those can be investigated uh, through the uh, any scalar discovery or not, uh, this way we was thinking. And then uh, also that these kind of constructions are just not adopt and they can be realized in some uh, models, BSM models, one of the example is SU6, SP6, little Higgs model. So in this kind of models where non-standard scalars are there, they are all non-standard scalars are realized that pseudo number goldstone motions of these models because of a higher symmetry is broken to a uh, standard model on any lower symmetry and they are uh, can uh, uh, get the standard model um, and then uh, the and then the those are as super number person so they are relatively lighter and then for TV scale competition of those models heavier vector like fermions are required to be introduced in those models so that uh, they can complete uh, representation of some bigger group embedding the standard model group so also they have uh, any uh, many, particular effects uh, requirement due to the uh, requirement of cancellation of uh, cancellation of divergences as one loop. So that is uh, so very pretty uh, introduction of two big separate models. Uh, so um, two one uh, the standard model has one scalar doublet so here another scalar doublet is added and then uh, both of them is i is 1 2 um, and both of them are of the same uh, hypercharged doublet we have taken but different versions of uh, some versions of there is a second doublet or one doublet is uh, hypercharged half other is minus or those are also taken but this way it is taken and then there are total 5 physical scalars because one Higgs boson was there previously, so we have added another um, another uh, let's say a doublet. So that has four scalar degrees of freedom, and uh, those four uh, can be added to form the uh, can can be rotated to form the five physical scalar. One is the uh, uh, in one. This is. I mean, in the, within two interpret model, two CP even Higgs boson, I mean, scalar bosons are there, one CP odd scalar bosons are there, two charge. So there are eight total, two doublets, eight scalar degrees of freedom, rest of uh, the I mean, three of, uh, uh, are Goldstone bosons, so they are being eaten up uh, due to, uh, to get uh, I mean, massive to the WG bosons. So now, between the two CP even boson, one it will be the uh, 125 GB uh, X boson. So this way we pose this model. So there are new scalars are there, one heavy scalar, uh, CP even, one CP or heavy scalar and two charge uh, heavy, uh, I mean one two charge uh, degrees. So, so CP even sector rotation is alpha and CP odds and charge scalar rotation is beta like this are the way of how these things are rotated. The rho is from here, the phi rho beta is here and phi is all these things are rotated to get uh, get the physical um, degrees of freedom. These are physical degrees of freedom. Could take uh, the 125 GB is the H as the 125 GB Higgs boson. So well, that which was discovered and in the model uh, from our tan beta, from this bit, tan beta is defined as this, and that, that is standard model vacuum expectation of the Higgs boson, so that, that is different. Other linear elements and Boltzmann boson. So now we go to the, uh, the and depending on, and now in the Fermion sector, uh, I mean, Yukawa sector, the two Higgs double model are various uh, versions of that. Uh, uh, are there so two of them is taken another two type two is the way it's written that u is the two and uh, type and type x is uh, right written this way other two are the type one and type uh, y those are also taken but uh, 
in this work uh, related we have looked at the properties related to type or two or type x so we haven't written those but those are um, those are uh, some these are is dr is a uh, down type is now coupled to with that and up type coupled to with, uh, with phi 2 and down to coupled with phi 1 so this one um, if you type 1 we take uh, so then both will couple with like this uh, top uh, like up type thing and and type x type y is uh, type y has this uh, uh, type y will be uh, this top and bottom and left turn sector will be uh, different like this one. So, uh, so type Y will be this type of uh, uh, this type of type two sector type Y, and the upper left turn sector will be like this, uh, or will be uh, different. So that will be type Y. So that other two are can be found. So CP even Higgs coupling to the massive bosons can be written as like that. That the standard model coupling. Uh, with V means W G bosons and then these are the one twenty one Higgs and that is another uh, C P even Higgs and both have these couplings uh, uh, gauge boson couplings are like that sin beta minus alpha cos beta minus alpha so uh, this is uh, and we work in the alignment limit for most part of the work when like model independent but her three level gauge uh, couplings, Hermione couplings of the H1. If sine beta minus alpha is taken as uh, 1 and this as 0, so this coupling will be uh, HPP coupling will resemble the standard model coupling. And also in this limit, we find the fermion couplings also uh, of the H uh, become similar to the uh, standard model coupling. So, and H W to the heavy one, uh, their gauge boson coupling and is at the three level. So, and uh, for H, this and another C P odd scalar, this is uh, very generally and is if we uh, uh, ask for the C P ingredients of the theory. Natural flavor conservation, you have type two and also type X. Natural flavor conservation in the X couplings. You have in both types, right? Both uh, okay, this is an on a G2 symmetry. So that each X coupled to the corresponding isospin channel without uh, yes, yes, without. So, and this going to one, that limit is then this limit. This is uh, called alignment limit or. Then vector like fermions are the brief introduction. The, the left hand and right hand ideal parts of vector like fermion transform in the same way under the standard model gauge group. So that is definition, but reasons for calling them vector like only charge current Lagrangian is written this way, and then that L and R parts, if we take the standard model kind of uh, fermions, ideal fermions, so then L part is there, uh, so that is V minus S structure, but R part is not there. So if I go to vector line, then uh, both left-handed and right-handed currents are present. So it looks like a vector current. If I, if I take both left and right-handed currents, it will look like a vector current. So these, uh, I mean, proper. So these, this kind of fermions. Uh, if this is not standard, I mean, just for example, we have looked at but this, which bear like this kind of behavior, are they are charge current. So there will be vector uh, like uh, fermions. So similar, such kind of vector like fermions are seen in many new physics models. Some of them the extra dimensional model as Kaluzov and excitations of the bulk fields there, so that those can be vector like. And in little Higgs models, as partners of the standard model fermion, uh, in larger group representations, where which ensures the cancellation of divergence. And brief uh, introduction why uh, those are required and why it doesn't take and in composite models also as excited resonances of bounded states the standard model particle is taken as bounded states so excited resonance of that can be the vector like particles and also non meaningful so the expansion models with flavor based group they are also vector like fermions are introduced I mean are taken so now 
we go to the mixing that 2 Higgs tablet model plus T T prime mob. And 2 Higgs tablet model is there and then T T prime mixing or T B prime mixing is uh, looked at. So then an SU to similar vector like a pair, like two pair of well fragments of out type nature added to the plane two with the downs uh, like this Y1 coupling with this only this term. And then then previously 2 HTM2 this this term is there already this this term so then uh, taking both the mass term mass and mixing terms so top like fermions are like this the one term and then this is the mixing term and this mass term this so then this mixing gives the two mass eigen states and with the mixing angles theta on in L side or R side so that and mixing angles are given as this so what would go wrong if you don't put the second tablet but you keep the vector line principle nothing will go wrong no nothing will go wrong starting point we have taken as 2 inch tablet model so, so this is there but other studies are there where uh, standard model plus one vector like fermion is taken and then uh, that will mix with uh, T prime and that have effects in effects have been uh, presented that how Higgs results are modified due to that and those study, uh, studies are there. The question is you seem to say that two Higgs tablet uh, match very well the presence of vector light and I don't see that connection yet. No. When we, if we take that, uh, some new scalars are there, it, 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 not in the Higgs sector. Higgs sector, we want to put the Higgs sector, all properties uh, of, uh, of the Higgs with the, uh, similar to the standard model or within the experimental range. Then we want to look at some models are there which it itself presents some extra extra scalars. So there vector like fermion presence is uh, required. So there how this new scalars are getting affected by that. This is the next level I mean, of after Higgs result, Higgs result and that modification of Higgs 125 GB Higgs result due to the presence of vector like fermions that was done. That is not as people before us have been done. So then some models we found that their vector like fermions can be present with uh, two Higgs tablet model kind other extra scalar structures. It will come later when you consider this extra quotient symmetry. Uh, yes, yes, extra to keep the Higgs line. Yeah. Mm. To keep the Higgs light, the symmetry has been extended, so uh, and that requires the that vector, vector, vector like yeah. fermions. Yeah. So, so that uh, mixing uh, is there and similarly bottom kind uh, type vector like uh, singlet pair can be produced and this uh, that uh, similar to this structure so but different uh, structure uh, with the uh, this kind of structure and then with the bottom cord uh, mass previously this kind of similar uh, can be done so then we come to result that TT bar mixing modifies the top mass and top fix Yukawa coupling of the standard model. So these two uh, we have to keep uh, within the experimental numbers, uh, the experimental limits. So uh, top mass is effective top Yukawa coupling after the mixing comes up like this. So this has to be kept uh, and we have fixed the MS empty mass as 126. 163 GB and around that some hello of what it can take. So then and, and this coupling, this scaling is the the Yuka coupling, our Yuka coupling with the standard model Yuka coupling and then that is some experimental results and that has some limits behind this. So this limit may be uh, now a bit more constant. Uh, so, so that's it. So then, then parameter space with uh, with the modifications with the vector like fermion, we just check with that that we can still keep the Yukawa Y and uh, mass of the top I mean, within the measured mass within the li measured limit. So we look at the this is 
Tallying from in mass and this is um, new Yuka in, input uh, Yuka in, coupling introduced due to the mixing so that one uh, is then this 168 uh, 166 the masses are possible within this range and there are various Y cup in Y U the top coupling uh, this one can be taken at different values but uh, the main, main, main Point from point to be taken from that that the, this modification uh, even with the bigger Y coupling uh, uh, moderate to large Y we can easily keep the top mass and coupling close to the standard model value that is not a problem because of this 800 GV mass and above mass will not contribute that much in, in the mixing angles and this so and then this is for top 10 beta 1 and this is for this towards for 10 beta 5. So they are always this is the KHTT coupling and this we see that this is can be kept for in large Y1 this can be kept very close to the uh, standard model value very easily. So we have first satisfying the stand anything um, that can uh, be affected due to the 125 GV this is the old I mean, 125 GV is one. Uh, so they are all couplings and mass top mass which comes from the uh, this uh, expert symbol comes from X. The standard model way uh, we can keep the everything fixed even in this for uh, this model. But then, uh, right, but, uh, so I have a question. Yes. Uh, why uh, in these plots the the bare mass of this vector like work that is a parameter introduced is M, so the bare parameter for T prime mass. Mm. is not affecting your results because in principle there will be mixing between T and T prime. Yes, yes, I am saying that they are not affect, exactly not affecting is not point. My point is the, the, uh, the effect is within the range what is allowed from the LH system. The couplings are not exactly standard model. No. Yeah, but, Quite but what is the value of that angle? I mean, if that, if this plot doesn't depend on the value of that angle, it's T prime mixing angle. No, TT prime mixing angles, uh, why HTT is when filled, these are the mixing angles. Right. Yes. right. So, though, those mixing angles, <coughs> these are this is the two cos ones are there, and when the Y1 part is there, one is sine, one is cos. So, I am mean, trying to say that these effects, uh, how much this can affect, so this way I want, wanted to put that. This is, we can fix according to this, and this full thing can. When we, we can get the 160 mass, uh, but uh, this is one parameter uh, from the 2 HDM part, and then now that is modified. And uh, now, extra part this is due to the mixing, this is also modified due to mixing, and this new part is added. So, both all the taken into constant, I mean, taken into uh, consideration, we can put again the value back to the YHDT towards one. So then kinematically allowed region, this new mode opens up uh, and this is uh, new T prime or T2 we name the T2 becomes dominant and moderate time meter. For time meter 1, this is the uh, TT is the main channel, but uh, time meter uh, 5 uh, when after the mode. Uh, mass scalar. So this is the now when looking at the uh, new heavy <coughs> scalar that can decay to the new fermions and so that can have a new mode to look at. And then we can go to the point that uh, in our parameter space of interest uh, because alignment limit has A uh, and H has the similar kind of property. H W W G G is not there and A G is not there. So we have written the all contributions in terms of a general effective coupling. Uh, we have taken out this and um, scale and the general effective coupling because we have to know the change of uh, this value due to the other effects. So uh, now comparing this value and this value will be sufficient to get our uh, quantify our changes, what amount of change is happening in the production cross section. Mainly we are interested in those changes as we see later. So then comes to this point so this is the effective parameter in the 2 d tablet model 2 and then I have with constant uh, 
respect to MA and tan beta parameters of tan. Now, for these points, for we have taken MA 1000 GB and MSI 1250 GB. So, for even this, we have taken a very uh, high mass for the vector like fermion because still 900 can be taken, but that will even increase the effect more. But uh, we have We've taken this because of other, uh, like ex from an exact model perspective, we are not getting numbers less than that. So, then 2 Higgs diameter 2 K5 GG at this range, uh, 1000 GG, there is no vector like Fermi. So, there is K5 GG value 1 to 5. So, now only vector like Fermi contribution is plotted here. So, if we take then Y2 or in case Y2, Y1 to Y2. One is TT prime mixing, this is DB prime mixing. So, what are the values that uh, that this production cross section of the heavy bosons can uh, can take? So then, uh, a DB uh, value, TLA value can be 0 0.15 to 0 0.5, and for uh, corresponding to 1 to 5, and then for the bottom mixing, to it can be 0 0.1 to 1. And if we particular parameter space we look. At the amplitude level, at some parameter space, modification is 25%. So, at the this is amplitude level and these are added and squared up. So, then at the production cross section level, uh, that can have a, even up to 60% order effect. So, uh, due to this vector like balance, even with this big mass, so smaller mass one will be uh, uh, even more. Effect. So, then so these are what we have looked at the 2 is 0.5 and this is 2 is around 1 uh, this two. so these uh, values are we have taken uh, that. so then uh, this is one case similar to previous one but the results uh, can be seen more prominently so that we have presented it in the, this one that 2 heat level one structure and new vector like fermions are there Necessarily, they don't uh, may not mix with the, the T prime, but they mix with themselves, and along with that, also mixing uh, with T prime can be there. So, both kind of effects. So, this effect we want to continue. Right. So then, we have to put a doublet to allow mixing between these vector lines. We have to put a doublet and a single, uh, and singlets can be a down type or up type, and one. One module is constructed when up, one up type is, uh, sorry, one diamond type uh, fermion is taken, electrolyte fermion, and then that is added to the point in this way. So then, and then also one point is that, okay, there are different kind of things. There is two well fermions, electrolyte fermion has, one is L, one is R part. One case is that when chi L and chi R both coupled to phi 1, and another case is that one, one R part couples to phi, phi 1 and L part couples to phi. So when these are these all different kinds of con when combinations are possible. But we are we have just looking at two possible combinations, but because some other possible combinations just have the phenomenological effect similar to these. So so then we take the first case uh, and then uh, with few electrics metal in the vacuum expression we mix them, fermions amongst them, the vector like fermions and the mixing angles are like that. So, also twitium 2 has this full effect and full th thing is repeated for twitium x uh, and the relative sign uh, between the y1, y1 prime here changes the numbers with some observations. We take y1, y1 prime, and we take both of the mass eigenvalues same for the I mean, plotting purpose and other for um, mm, ma1 model. This second model we have taken easily, but it cannot be taken as the first model. So mm, because both, if we take both this equal, this equal, so that will this will uh, diverge. So then. Uh, now we go to results. Uh, the, this is for the model, the first model, and this is for the second model. So first model, this is the two Higgs double model, two numbers. So lower, bigger 10 meter, we have not. Two Higgs two, very big 10 meter, 
part I am not looking, but we have plotted for theoretical purposes. But if we look at lower tan beta, so these are when vector like fermions are added. So, it, and this is in the amplitude level. So, from these are only two star level two numbers, and this is uh, uh, two star two plus vector like fermion number. So, that, that can have a I mean, big amount of change can be uh, possible. So, but uh, this is for a 600 GV mass and uh, this fermions are one is for the uh, 800 GV and one this is 800 GV this is 1000 GV the total vector like fermion mass so here the, when I couple the vector like fermions L and R for different to different doublets the final results change Hello. So there, what happens to this place? It's getting down, and other places, uh, it's we, when, uh, after adding vector fermions, it sometimes it's getting enhanced, but some parent space it's getting decreased from the two level to the So this is for M. This is for I mean, only this model, but this is always increasing. But this is sometimes increasing, sometimes decreasing. For just for differentiating this way. So, because this mixing angles will be different uh, because of uh, the how we mix these things, so that will affect the Feynman result. So then, we if we twist them and twist them x, this is the result, and then with vector like Feynman, uh, that result doesn't change. So what? So this this is directly for all parameter space. We also quantify this uh, thing that twist uh, them two. Is the this result and to the uh, model 2 plus vector like of type fermion both coupled to 5 1 so that is in um, this one and then uh, effective Yuka coupling of standard model Higgs and non standard scalar that is present here so I will start with that so there we can pick up a part of parameter space a bigger part of parameter space where this numbers this kg numbers only for to the 2 is if you look at the 1000 2.5 to 3 means uh, this is 300 to 1000 GV of the mass and then tan beta is around um, 1 to 10 region that is 1 2 to 5 is the number for the wisdom 2 but that number when we look at the with like fermions added in this way so then this area is then uh, it's increasing to uh, 10 uh, up to this is the 10 so 3 is uh, even not going to 10 but less than 6, 8, 8, 7 so uh, this increases even more than this particular point here is between 1 and 2 so the, but here it is 5 and 10 but some 6, 7 so that is a huge increase of uh, this cross section uh, total production cross section so, uh, so then while all doing all that, we have looked at the how Higgs, standard model Higgs cross section, uh, when standard model Higgs coupling, that may also get in enhanced, so then this will be not allowed because of the, they have constraint from the, uh, when this same, actually this triangle loop, same con condition will happen for the uh, fermion loop, is also in the gamma gamma channel also, and for the sigma time punching ratio uh, with respect to standard model the mu parameter for the gamma gamma channel is has some constant so within that we have to keep our Higgs result within that so but then when we look at the coupling so effective couplings of the Higgs and non-standard scalar we get the effective coupling of the Higgs for some after some 10 meter almost close to gets very small number but then still the non-standard scalar coupling remains a relatively larger value. So, so mostly why this is all this happening so this is uh, like what is happening like long fusion production gamma gamma channel decay we we'll look at long fusion part and then x y can be standard model here both kind of fermions depending on an h1 can h or a or h so this is various kind of things uh, uh, that is taking into account one is the mixing angle dependence mixing angles are uh, one first is mixing angles they have 
very uh, defined kind of they are particularly very small mixing are allowed here but uh, but still some parameter space the mixing can be large and mixing can be large for uh, non standard case but for 125 gb case the same parameter space may mixing doesn't uh, mixing doesn't give the very high mean, large number so and also also the two hit double model uh, class vector like has is increasing this that part but still two hit double model itself when at some moderate some bigger can be the two hit double model to top coupling has the tan proportional to cot beta and uh, bottom coupling is proportional to tan beta so then bottom coupling and top coupling uh, are uh, become of the similar magnitude at some higher parameter so they can cancel again uh, between uh, each other uh, so they that sometimes that happens and then uh, that makes the two example model two laser is smaller for some parameter region so that is one of the effects so those are these are the loop factor the main full loop factor i have not written the main uh, the loop factor is depending on other factors plus with this function and then for top is the this function is this is the function and what uh, what uh, uh, for bottom this is the function before three three hundred fifty mm like when two forty mm mass is uh, image is bigger than uh, one three fifty two into top mass before uh, before crossing that limit top and bottom has different functional behaviors but after that both the same behavior so uh, these are the all the factors that that are that have gone into the uh, result switch uh, urban so so then we so then uh, exact models i am uh, going to say that the where two hit double model class vector like fermions are present so this model is proposed by low rules give by this what and it is a little higgs model so higgs is the pseudo constant for some time quadratic divergent corrections to the higgs mass get cancelled in one loop this solves the hierarchy problem therefore natural theory so su6 to sp6 model so su6 is continuously broken to the symplectic group so that has been uh, that has given 14 goldstone bosons eight goldstones form the two su2 doublet that mimic the two hit double model structure with four extra I mean four bsm scalar and to cancel the fermionic divergence the like fermions have to be added in this structure so uh, so these are the squeezed in kind of structure is uh, obtained then the like fermions are added and other gold stones provide greater bsm gauge bosons new gauge bosons and a singlet scalar but means some actually fermions are added such as the this singlet scalar we need not uh, make it uh, their loop corrections non divergent so they, that can have larger effect so that is, those are not lighter one so and also electric precision constraints make this bsm gauge bosons very heavy and singlet ones are usually heavy so relatively low, lower energy if you look at 1 tv around 1 tv so then lss model can be treated as a two hit double model plus vector like so is it easy to see that the presence of vector like variance is necessary in order to cancel the quadratic divergences okay men uh, those uh, which, uh, those are general little hit uh, model property so uh, though Oh, then, uh, in C, I uh, mean, what sense you think? The in general, uh, this fermion, the loops are uh, connected. Uh, the standard because model. of the symmetry. Yes, because but of you symmetry. are kind of saying that the symmetry also implies the presence of the vector light somehow to cancel. Cancel the number. Cancel the number. I'm not sure yeah. which are numbers. The standard model uh, uh, on the from the standard model uh, divert I mean scalar from the divergences coming from the scalar in to the higgs mass is uh, taken care of by other scalars in the model but there are no fermions when the fermion loops are uh, are there of the standard model fermion loops are giving the divergent corrections so how to cancel those fermion loops so those fermion loops 
the form of the divergent correction is, uh, divergent is cancelled by another introducing another fermions which actually the sign of these vector-like fermions we can manage I mean we can have our I mean we have handled on that, that we have we can fix and then this vector-like fermions can change that are the masses related the vector-like with those of the scales uh, yes, there is a SU SU six uh, spontaneous breaking scale is there. So every uh, mass necessarily related to that scale. But the standard model ones, those are getting. Uh, I mean, sorry, uh, those BSM ones, uh, th those are getting the uh, I mean, corrections from other uh, I mean, loop corrections. Uh, I mean, one general scale is there. So stand the electrolyte fermions are the of mass of that scale. If SU SU six break breaking scale, but as the gold stones, generally they are massless, but they pick up some mass from um, the loop corrections. So become SU pronounced gold. So then, um, and so th that masses are not that high. Uh, still around, uh, I mean, like more than I mean around twenty, but uh, so. Uh, in, I'm saying that all the standard model particle uh, puts the quota there in the divergent loop, corresponding some new that kind of particles are required to cancel those uh, loops. So there are no new fermions generally coming from this. And also, when we try to write the SU6, uh, this construction is not ours, but I'm saying from their construction. When this uh, SU6 uh, invariant Yurka coupling you want to write, so you have a big uh, multiplet. So there you have to form uh, to put to write the full multiplet. You have to introduce others uh, fermions which can take part in the uh, in, in that multiplet. Uh, can I uh, can I answer to your question? I mean, if you have. So it's not very difficult to see what he's saying. I mean, instead of SU6, I mean, think of SU3 breaking to SU2, it's simpler. Mm -hmm. Okay, so SU3 has, uh, in the fundamental representation, think of uh, the standard top bottom, which will become the doublet of SU2, and a capital T, which is his uh, singlet with respect to SU2, in fact, but a part of a triplet, SU3 triplet. Yes, yes. Okay? So, um, so what will happen, I mean, when you split the thing into SU2 basis, I mean, the SU3 is already broken at the scale F, mm -hmm. and so the capital T is a singlet with respect to SU2. Mm -hmm. So then you'll have, a, you'll generate a coupling, which is like uh, capital T bar, capital T HH, which is a dimension five operator, mm -hmm. one over F. F is the scale of SU3 breaking to SU2. And this as a sign, so you have some kind of a loop in which two Higgs and then a, 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 a sort of circle of capital T. So you have HHTT, okay, which is dimension 5, but with an opposite sign. So this is the same sign cancellation, <coughs> I mean same statistics cancellation with an opposite sign. That you so find in supersymmetry somehow. That exactly. You are mimicking supersymmetry you are mimicking through, through this extra Through this, because, because and, and the couplings are related because it's the same SU3 coupling. But not dimension 4, it's dimension 5. So that is the generic idea of little Higgs. That is the generic because the little Higgs is a gold stone. So you have the you know the nonlinear realization. Is it's a nonlinear realization. So you have this. Yeah. So there uh, in this model the, uh, the in the loop generator the um, sorry uh, the two HDM structure that potential that gets generated is this right? and these are the all functions of uh, all the three parameters of the LSS model. So, uh, and from there, from the, on, only the condition of the lambda phi prime is non-imaginary and the Higgs mass and wave is fixed. That allows charge scalar mass, uh, that puts the limit uh, on the, this is, the, here we are, what we are doing, the alignment we are not assuming by ourselves, we are looking that how also the if alignment limit how much it get satisfied uh, from the 
full model analysis point of view. So then, if we with the potential we just study, we get the this is the deviation. This is quantify the deviation from the alignment limit. So this is the exact alignment limit. So these are the all allowed points for MA 10 meter plane. So these are all allowed points, and these are the amount of deviation possible from the alignment limit. So even that we see that not much deviation is possible uh, only from the this only allowing these three constant we can get the uh, it's the tendency towards the alignment limit. And also one another thing is the MA and this is the charge Higgs mass contour. So we can see the charge Higgs masses also are somewhere close to the somewhere close uh, to the MA mass. So MA M, M charge charge Higgs mass uh, charge Higgs mass and uh, this CP odds mass are also coming as degenerate. So electric symmetry making is uh, done here. So then we go to the u cow coupling. So full SU2, SU6 symmetric u cow coupling we have been written. So that is on state and their uh, uh, matrix. Uh, this con uh, asymmetric condens condenser which, which breaks the SU, SU6 symmetry. So those things all are there and that works. So then from that we write it in the form of the when SU6 symmetry is broken and F terms are explicit inside. So these then these are the vector like convenient doublets and vector like convenient singlets, vector like and singlets, those are part of the SU2 uh, multi SU6 multiplets and after breaking the whole coupling takes this kind of uh, uh, this kind of so here in the top sector the couples with both the scalar tablets so a 2 HTM 3 kind of structure and other light forming UCA couplings are either can be made type 1 or type 2 that is depending on the which couplings will these are normally top quad part and bottom quad and other low mass quad part has to be added so, so then uh, unlike the previous case the carbon mixing here generates from both one is SU6 breaking scale then again electric symmetry breaking scale symmetry making must be correct in it. Those are uh, have ramifications on the, the making the loop corrections uh, uh, non divergent so Then uh, these are the all parameters how it is written. That these are masses of vector like fundamental mass. These are the gauge boson masses, uh, heavy gauge boson non standard part. And these are then heavy scalar masses and, and four uh, couplings. Uh, they are from gauge coupling, so two of them are from W and G mass fixing, two of one we can constant to. So then 10 free parameters finally we work with, so these are uh, the 10 free parameters. We work with the, uh, this is without applying the head, so we can just uh, uh, make the head, uh, write uh, F in terms of head and then this doesn't become a free parameter but we first work with the 10 free parameters and then later apply this so because of this exactly in terms of writing one parameter in terms of other in analytically is not possible for this case we found that so then uh, so all, all this from this case we are not showing that this is one first one f terms in the matrix f terms are diagonalized by a by your similar transformation, then F, F uh, term diagonalization, then one, what is P? P terms come from electric symmetry making terms, then the second step uh, diagonalization also is done. So after doing that, the mass and coupling of the everything is found out. So but analytical form of the, those are very uh, large and a lot I mean, very complex so we have we have done all everything numerically so, so then heavy gauge boson masses where do you have heavy gauge bosons from do you gauge part of this symmetry I yes one SU2 part is the gauge one after break being broken I mean you have the standard model yes. gauge boson W's and Z's another, what else do you have another SU2 obtained from this extra uh, obtained from the extra I thought it was a global symmetry that was interpreting the Higgs as pseudo-constants. 
No, it will, you need a gauge interaction to explicitly break the cement right. to start, to otherwise it will remain the goldstone forever. Oh. Like, just like the quart mass breaks the uh, part, you know, like chiral say. symmetry, our uh, electromagnetism breaks the chiral symmetry, right? I mean, otherwise the pions will forever remain massless. So, okay. you need some interaction to explicitly break the uh, global symmetry so that the pions, the, the goldstones become pseudo goldstones. So that, that gives them more, uh, that that gives the mass. For giving their mass. Okay. Yeah. And then scan over immediately with ten parameters, and then use this these constraints. Uh, and also here we are putting the loose constraint, not exactly alignment, but just put the less than this. Uh, but uh, and these these are the direct constraint on vector pass. Then points satisfying all these constraints are presented as blue at the letter part, and that. Then precision electric constraints are taken into account and the points which satisfy these along with the previous length, this one, so those are ones in green. So then we uh, get the final constraint LSS model and the part is the lower 10 meter values are favored and all of the extra scalars are almost degenerate in mass. We have previously seen that the MA and M charges are going to degenerate. So then here MA and M CT even another one. So those are also the difference is very small. So if they are also MA and MH also pointing for the all allowed points, they are going towards DNA. And MA and MA MH is also DNA. So all the heavy scalars are uh, allowed to the DNA region. And that, then we haven't put it explicitly, but the alignment limit is very precisely I see because this is the deviation. These are the all the points we can see that they are very close to the alignment. And, the, and also here the we can see the almost all values. These are the points of electric precision test also satisfied. So these almost all points are uh, lower than. So and then we present the correlation of the BSM, cadmium, and gauge boson masses. So those are some very heavy, uh, heavy masses can be possible. So then I go to the change due to the vector like phenomenon. The phenomenology of the BSM scalar. So you can get the KAGG value. Previously we defined K phi G. So when it's for A, it's KAGG. So A, that value is around this. And then we get, try to get the comparative value. So this is from the this side from the uh, top uh, contribution and this side from the vector like fundamental contribution. And all the allowed points, mostly this green ones are the allowed after all putting all the constants. So we can see that the all green points are towards this point where uh, this vector like fermion is sense, sense, I mean, uh, of the same order of the similar uh, magnitude almost uh, or I mean, I mean, comparable even non negligible contribution from the vector like fermion is always for the all most allowed points. Then, uh, if we try to look inside it, the why, what is happening, so then we look at the, this is vector line, uh, a non-standard coupling of A with the other fermion, and this is with the top coupling, and those also we are all the points we are getting almost, uh, I mean, it is 0.2 and this is also 0.1 values are, these values are there, some are 0. Or otherwise also this way, like these values are bigger, this values, I mean comparable magnitude of these values are possible actually. So for allowed points contribution from the vector like calls is same order of magnitude as those from the standard model. So this one because this Y A T G when they are mixing in the two uh, when the when after two time uh, X term diagonalization, I mean T term diagonalization we are we are doing so the a y a t t has got a different terms coming from that and so then they there is a some cancellation in some points happening between the different contribution to y a t t that which doesn't allow it to grow relative to the vector like part pretty much so we can always get in this model that uh, allowed points are always such that the vector like part contributions are comparable to the uh, uh, I mean, standard model fermion contributions most top is the dominant one for other contribution bottom we have also taken but those are negligible. Right. You still have the two each other model structure right at the base. So what do you mean by effective UCO coupling? Right. It should have a three level UCO coupling as usual. Oh uh, no, when the two is being cut and then uh, five one and uh, new new fermions are uh, 
coupling with some or to HDMI part. So then mixing will happen. Right. So why LTT is coming from after the mixing? But right. here the nature of the mixing is a bit complex because not only from P the, those are mixing previously P F terms. The, that breaking has some also terms which may which are uh, different effects on mixing. So tool mixing. I am saying gen it's a general mixing, but the uh, the nature of the mixing is complex than previously. Okay. So other like Y1, Y2, those terms we are adding. So here in the mixing, some terms from Y1, Y1 if it is non-zero, some terms is there, some Y2 term. So these kind of terms are there, and then along with that, some they are getting mixed. So then some interplay between them is working. But it can take in principle any value, right? Yes, right. but but when we put all the constants, we have scan over all the parameter space. Right. We find that the uh, it is taking the values which are uh, making it uh, cancelling each other and some are smaller y values. I mean, I, I was wondering uh, what range of time beta did it uh, take? I mean, it okay, was we heavily depend on tangent beta, right? Uh, okay, tangent beta is we have, we can write tangent beta in terms of other three parameters of the theorem. Yes. Point. Then uh, we scan over all three parameters and we have found some tangent beta. So those tangent beta values uh, we, we have gi uh, given that here that so these are the allowed points after all the constant and there it shows the tangent so beta so cannot be larger than this. Do you have any particular reason to suspect like what, what might be uh, going on so that, that like this allows your tangent beta higher than 5? I mean why? No, I mean one thing, okay for this case I am saying the only thing is the this is probably very fine tuned. Model it is itself getting fine tuned some, I mean that is the, uh, I mean that is the, I am saying conclusion from that but uh, why it is getting fine tuned uh, that is I am to me it's surprising, I mean, what restricts your value of tangent beta? What kind? Uh, so, when, uh, with more symmet from a more symmetric atmosphere is coming, so... No, I mean, if, I mean, if the only constraint on waves are just V1 square plus V2 square equals to 246, then I do not see, like, what, what constraints your is your anyway, continue... No, the another, other constraint is from the part, these masses of the vector like particles. F is there. Right. So if the, those cannot be very, I mean, uh, I mean right. uh, those are taken like very, uh, not very high values, so then F has some constant or, right. and those ha has to be has some bigger values. F is, has to be, I mean, okay, uh, mass is, vector length for mass is always taken more than 750. So F is order of 750 or 500. So that when that is that part is uh, comparing to P part, so that is one small effects can come in. Right, so, right. But vector like fermion still have this bare mass, right? You can just always take it higher to make it higher. No, that that will make the mixings even uh, will not affect. I am saying towards that will not that. Okay, you are saying that that will make this vector like contribution smaller and smaller. We can make. Yeah, I mean vector like mass higher and the vector like contribution smaller. So what prevents you from doing that? Why? Anyway, uh, you can you can see later. I mean, okay, this is complicated. Also, like when we looked at the uh, all the couplings like neutral scalar modes and all uh, CT odd mode, even modes and double rotation mode and then when we try to investigate that the H to TT is the dominant and H to TT is dominant but then when we look at the H to HH mode uh, two double, then we found only some points like uh, these are the most of the points when this branching base is 1 but these are the points some of the points are happening but this uh, this is getting very small value so those kind of cancellation uh, we have seen that those are happening uh, that uh, those kind of cancellation makes the other modes open up so here also the alignment if the if we, we don't uh, we are very close to alignment but still this is so small that this is getting some some amount of two percent three percent value so this is uh, this is due to 
we have checked only up to the point that the y HTT or y ATT that is having a, I mean, it's a drastic can cancellation at some points and some parameters but uh, what exactly is the reason for that because uh, we have done free scan so uh, every uh, point we have taken but uh, uh, why some points are showing their behavior in the scan we are not sure so then so for a heavy resonance order of magnitude larger sigma times branch of sigma gamma gamma than 2 h m only setup is possible so addition of vector like left trans can boost the gamma gamma branch in this year without looking at the uh, production part so in some LSS model parameters plus here a contribution can be significant compared to the SM cardinal uh, this is the um, results so LFs can do these modifications keeping all standard model Higgs observables within the experimental limit so modification of heavy scalar phenomenon due Due to SM PLF mixing is of the similar kind to those of PLF PLF mixing. My results are a bit previous kind of similar. So, so LHC signatures of neutral and charged scalars in the different channels will be interesting. Also, in this setup, the charge Higgs part is not uh, studied. So, uh, and the, if this uh, anything a new property can be uh, uh, can be seen or new something can be reported that is. Please go back to the previous slide, uh, previous to the conclusion slide. Oh. Right. The, the, the previous one. Yes. So, what was your conclusion from this? I mean, uh, so. No, that conclusion is up to that the H to TT is generally dominant when, uh, when you have alignment limit. So, H to W to W cannot be uh, a dominant channel. But this is not the standard peaks, right? This is the... Ah, non-standard one I'm saying. Non-standard one, heavy one. So heavy one has a TT channel and could have, which could have been comparable is the WWGG mode. No, but that's normal because you are clumped towards low time beta and this you call goes as low time okay. beta. WWGG is not there. That is not nothing to do with time beta. Uh, that is not there. No, no, no. Only time. Top, top is the main channel. But H to TT were... That the Sivka goes as cotangent beta because you have chosen 5 to, to be there so, and you are clamped towards low hand beta. Mm. So oh, top top will be okay. Top. Yes, I am saying that mainly top top, top die top channel is the main branching ratio is bigger, but some points are we are getting different from that. So those are the points are mostly the Sivka coupling notifications. I have another additional question, sorry, I have no idea about that because you are, so if you are modifying uh, the quark sector, I was wondering if that will uh, lead to any observable effect in this flavor observable, for example. Uh, that is the exactly thing is can be checked actually, because TT thing with T2 has gone up constant, how the limits will be modified. Okay. So bar mass difference, PP bar mass difference also. Yes. Did you put those constraints already? In the no box? flavor constraints. So there are no flavor constraints. No. And I see there that you have... Electric precision constraints are there, not flavor. But not flavor. But you have, for instance, you are putting a charge Higgs mass up to 5 dB. Uh, yes, did, I have... Did you check the scalar couplings which correspond to that, whether you are in the perturbative region or not? Perturbative nature. Yes. Yeah, uh, actually, for charge chips, uh, we haven't checked. Other thing, charge chips. I mean, to answer, because there is this top breaking called M12 square. I mean, you can make that thing heavy yeah. and to make the. Uh, oh, charge chips. You, you, you need to be very careful. Uh, yeah, I mean, M12 square is not. Uh, no, M12 square, square is related to MA, not charge chips. Yeah. No, M12 square is not valid. It's charge. Zero scalar is also oh. independent parameter if you have a Z2 symmetry. And also for this model, if when you start from a bigger symmetry, so this uh, VHDM potential is coming, that is itself uh, showing, showing something that the MA, MH and M charge is both are closer. And so oh, MA values are somehow, if that way is right, that here MA value, if, uh, how can it be changed? MA value can be changed due to, due to the parameter of the MA. B square or M on to square. So charge shifts will be the similar here. Only by defined by a lambda phi. So that lambda phi uh, 
Hadoop is not a part, I mean, non perturbative because always it's uh, it's coming clo I mean, very close to the I mean, even one within one one point two within this value zero. Yeah, okay, that like one standard lambda to be zero, mm -hmm. and only the these three bilinear parameters you will write put the put to the head, and all the non standard parameter non standard masses to m one to square and take m one to square lambda. Ah, yeah, exactly. So this way, so other so lambdas are better. There, so those are not non perturbative. I mean, non perturbative that we have looked. I guess the main problem would be to make uh, the vector-like loop that produces the so to scale very large that would require very big couplings of the that was the problem with the 750 uh, 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 that it required kind of in the margin values for the coupling almost uh, uh, or, yes. more, or more vector-like words yeah but anyways that nature does not like that choice <laughs> Any further question? Last uh, one. Are there any proof that you have studied vector like doublet plus uh, up type segment or down type segment? Any particular reason? Uh, vector like doublet plus up type segment or uh, down type segment? No, both we are looked at. So why, why, why this combination? Any motivation? Oh no, no. One, one doublet is there. We, when we are. When we are going to look at the standard model plus vector like mixing. So there, standard model we have already some fermions. So we need one, just one singlet from the vector like sector will do the job. But when we need mixings between vector like vector like, so then one doublet has to be there unless you cannot couple it through Higgs because those are the doublets. So one vector like doublet is required. One Higgs doublet is there. So other one option, other options you have is the one singlet. So then uh, you have to add one double, uh, up type or down type. Okay, you can make uh, this charges doublet or dif different kind of charge assignment may be possible. Like if you take the uh, doublet but charges are different. Like I mean, I mean charge of the doublet uh, and the singlet one charge is also different charge. Not like two by three by one by two by three or one by minus one by three. You can take different charges, but according to that only but when you uh, mix with uh, standard model particle so there you have the top and bottom is there so there top and bottom if you want to mix you have to have the uh, up type means two third and down type means minus one third because unless you cannot couple it to the standard model uh, doublet standard model fermion doublet you cannot couple but when you couple only through vector like probably then then only you think you have to mind that the the doublet, uh, scalar doublet is half or minus half. So you make one side y, other, other side y plus half. So minus half will take care of the uh, hypercharge, I am saying minus. So then you can make this y higher and uh, you can get charges, higher charges, vector like fermion. Those kind of other structures are possible. Not, not if, I mean, up type, down type, I meant like the, we have for this thing, we have taken the two third minus one third thing for showing. And even actually those charges, we are trying to show that even with the minimal thing, we can increase the cross sections by a large amount. With that kind of charges, the cross sections will be very high. Maybe because those squares will include in the gamma gamma channel sometimes. These kind of things are possible. The 750, is, uh, some, some people have uh, explained the 750 using the char different charges of the vector like fermions. So, but we have some of the minimal structure somehow has the property that the also uh, that I mean non I mean, uh, non standard model scalars properties are will be significantly altered due to the presence of them. So yeah, like these are all uh, composite leaks or little leaks type of bottles. So at this G to H breaking is very important, right? They are all gold strong bosons. So depending on what is your starting loop, for example, SU6 by SP6, I mean there are many such examples. So I mean if you take the representations of fermions under that uh, original group and you try to decompose with respect to SU2, you will see lots of vector like fermions and and you pick those and you pick those which will give you the right kind of. Okay, let's take a... Uh